At London Financial Studies, we focus exclusively on capital markets. Our programs offer practical learning to professionals from all over the world. Public courses are delivered in London, New York and Singapore. Our teachers are leading experts in their fields with a wealth of practical knowledge. They are skilled communicators who can get the message across quickly and effectively. Dr. Simon Acom has over two decades experience in quantitative finance. During his career in banking, he established and led quantitative teams for top tier firms, covering from proprietary trading to equities analytic modeling. Simon has been on the LFS faculty since 2008. Volatility is one of the key inputs into pricing options and this was discovered famously by Black and Scholes. Now, when they looked at this vol concept of volatility, they said, well, if I know the volatility of an asset, I can price options on that asset. This idea that Black and Scholes had was very much dependent on the idea that volatility was constant. And that hasn't been true at all. And lots of people argue about why it is and why it's not, but the greatest example we've got of that in the, in the last 10 years, the volatility of the S&P has ranged from 10% per annum to 80% per annum. What you find is that you need a different volatility to price different sorts of options. So options at different strikes and different maturities take different volatilities. Volatility has become an asset class in its own right. It's something that you can go out there and you can buy. And if it goes up, you make money. And if it goes down, you lose money. It's just like any other asset. But the great thing about volatility is that it's usually not very well correlated with all of the other standard asset classes. So it allows you to be able to diversify your risk by choosing a new asset class to put in an investment portfolio. The other great thing about these products out there, which are products on volatility, whether they be variance swaps, volatility swaps, VIX and VSTOX futures, variance futures, is that there's all sorts of subtle relationships between these products. So this gives plenty of opportunity for proprietary trading. Hedge funds have the opportunity to be able to trade volatility in a number of different ways. They can trade implied volatilities versus realized historic volatilities. They can trade volatilities of different asset classes. And they can trade different listed volatility products against each other to try and exploit arbitrages. In these days, risk tends to be tried, tied to capital. So the bigger the volatility, the more capital that the bank will be require and the more risk that they will be taking. So to be able to understand their risk position on a portfolio, they need to understand the volatility that's occurring. We've got all of these different volatility models for pricing our derivative contracts, any derivative contract that we've got out there. And the idea that these different volatilities come up with different prices means that you can misprice financial products if you don't have the right volatility model. But actually, that's not the most serious crime that you commit when you get the volatility wrong. The most serious crime you commit when you get the volatility wrong is that you actually miss hedge products. And miss hedging can cost you not just an upfront P&L, but can cause you to leak money continuously over the lifetime of the product. Well, people came along and said, well, there are lots of better models that we can use other than Black Scholes. And we examine those in this course. Some of them say, well, let's throw away this idea that volatility is a constant and make it something that changes depending upon the asset level. Other ideas say, well, you know, perhaps volatility itself changes randomly. 
Other people say, well, can I take the best of both of those? Have something whereby the volatility has a component that changes depending upon the asset level and another component that changes randomly. Sabre is a good example of one of those latter models. When you come to more complicated products, such as things like barrier options in foreign exchange, one-touch options in uh, interest rates, auto caps, these sorts of different models have diff come up with different prices and different risks. This LFS course covers the trading and risk management of volatility, including tradable volatility products and volatility swaps. Spreadsheet exercises provide insights into the most relevant approaches to model stochastic volatility and the current market conditions. The mathematics behind these models can be quite complex, but behind this, this mathematics is some very simple ideas that we need to stress. The ideas are that what, how these models work is by trying to understand how products get hedged and risk managed. And so what we try and do in our volatility course is bring out the differences between these models and emphasize what difference they make in terms of how products should be risk managed and hedged. And it's these sorts of ideas of the concept of volatility and how it affects products that the exercises in the course concentrates on rather than the detailed mathematics of how they work. On the final day, we bring together all of the different bits of knowledge that the delegates have gathered during, during the three-day sessions and use it to be able to try and do a simulation of hedging an entire book of positions. The range of institutions who attend this course ranges from main tier one investment banks, hedge funds, quantitative analysts from uh, different sorts of uh, financial institutions, all the way to, through to central banks, asset managers, portfolio managers. For professionals who are more quantitatively inclined, throughout the course we also include notes and detailed derivations about how the model works. And these are available for the delegates to take away. The focus on the course, however, is to look at the meaning of this mathematics and what it means in terms of how the products behave and how they are traded. <laughs>